Today's video is about how to make simple pick and place program. Let's get started. Choose program robot, empty program, and now we can start programming. I will add a before start sequence because we are going to have gripper in digital output zero. So we need to configure that first. We need to set that digital out zero to low. All right, that will make the gripper open. Now we have to figure out how we are going to structure our code. I think it's good practice to put it into small pieces into the subprograms. I think uh, five subprograms will be enough for simple pick and place program. The sub programs might be go home, go to the position one, pick an object, go to the position two, drop an object and go home. We need two times call that sub program go home. So let's get started. First we need to add sub programs which we will find here. We add one, two, three, four, five, five subprograms. And, and now we create new one. First one will be go home. Okay. Go home. Second one will be Go up over. Pos position one. Okay. Third one will be <coughs> pick. need to add one subprogram call that it will go to the home after this we it's not necessary but I I like to do it like this you can you can do it your way so Okay, now we make our home position, we add move command and set waypoint and we are going to put the waypoint around there. So that will be our home position. But here and next we need to make go up of position one we add move command same again that will be above our Big point. Next we add here. And um, now we're, when we are going to pick an object, we need to move linearly. 
now we add a couple waypoints more this first waypoint ah oh, this first waypoint will be about two pick this one will be And this third one will be same as the first one. Next we need to set the waypoints. So about the pick point will be here a little bit there. So that will be about pick and pick point will be down there. Okay, now we have to add set for the, to set the digital output zero to high, so that we, our creeper will close. Okay, we need to rename these two. Will be home, home, ah, push, home position. All right, and uh, next one we have to go to the position two. We have move J command, and we set the waypoint, and we put the waypoint to the other side. Like this, about there, and it will need to be above. And if we have some, in real case, we might have to go. Now it will go straight from here to here, but we might have to do some curve in here. Go, we might have to go through couple of waypoints before entering to above drop drop point or above position two okay we need to rename this and now we need to make This is above, about, about, to drop, <coughs> at waypoint, couple waypoints, this last one is same as the first one, because it will go down and go up to the same position, okay, we need to set the waypoint, this will be about pick or about to drop and this will be point where it need to drop the object and there maybe we pick some small objects and we will drop those to the plastic bag <coughs> and we have to rename this also and this was a Let's try. Will it go like I thought it should go? All right. It's okay. Let's press play and see the graphics. How it will go. I noticed that this goes straight to the here and if we have some obstacle in here 
we could go through the home position. So I will stop this and add. I just need to add mm, in here. I will add new sub program call and make it to go home. All right. And now it will go around that obstacle. Okay. Let's go out. So now it will. It's so simple when you are structuring your code when you are starting. So you don't need need to make so much changes after you have made the code. So. Uh, and now we can see here that there is a oh now I noticed that we have I have I have forgotten to add a set here maybe you have maybe you noticed that I didn't put this in here so we have to when we drop we have to put digital out zero to the low so it opens the grip our creeper 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 all right now we can check out the output here it should go on and okay it looks like it works like it should be so that was it you feel free to comment what you liked me to cover or if you have some problems with programming universal robots maybe i try to find the answer for you or try to make some tutorial about how to fix things or how to manage some difficulties that will happen when you are coding.